February 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Mark chapter 16 from the New Testament. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought aromatic spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, at sunrise, they went to the tomb. They had been asking each other, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled back. Then as they went into the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples, even Peter, that he is going ahead of you into Galilee. You will see him there, just as he told you. Then they went out and ran from the tomb, for terror and bewilderment had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Early on the first day of the week, after he arose, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had driven out seven demons. She went out and told those who were with him, while they were mourning and weeping. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in a different form to two of them while they were on their way to the country. They went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Then he appeared to the eleven themselves while they were eating, and he rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him resurrected. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved, but the one who does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new languages, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and whatever poison they drink will not harm them. They will place their hands on the sick and they will be well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. They went out and proclaimed everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through the accompanying signs. God, today I want to offer up in prayer those people who are listening to your word, who haven't accepted the gift from you of your son, Jesus Christ, the grace and the mercy and the forgiveness, as well as the eternal life that is included in that gift. God, they may be sitting here right now listening to these words Maybe they're ready to commit their life to you, which is awesome. Maybe they still have questions. And for that, I pray that they reach out to one of us so that we can help answer those questions. For others, they still may need to hear more of your word before they're ready. I know you say in the Bible that you chose us. We didn't choose you, but we still have to accept that gift that you're offering us. Your son, your only son, died on the cross and took on every single sin of this world for our forgiveness. And if we haven't accepted that gift, if we haven't accepted the forgiveness of our sins, if we haven't accepted the fact that we have an opportunity to have eternal life with you, Lord, then I pray for those listening that they will ask you for that gift. It doesn't require much. It doesn't require you standing up in church or raising your hand or reciting some certain prayer. All it requires is sincerity of asking Jesus Christ to come and live in your life, to forgive your sins, and with the understanding that after three days, Jesus rose up to heaven to a place of eternity where we will get to join them one day. Jesus already paid the price for you to have this gift. It cost you nothing 
to get everything. God, thank you for choosing us. I pray today as people are listening to this message that wherever they're at with you, that they will continue to seek answers, even if they're not ready to accept your son into their lives yet, that they will continue to ask questions and read the Bible and listen to these videos, ask questions of those people who are involved in the project or people who are friends who are Christians. And God, I pray today for those people that say yes to this amazing gift that you have offered us. I pray for strength. They've been listening to these stories and they know the parables of the seeds and I don't want them to be the seeds that get blown away. I want them to be the seeds that gain deep roots into you. And the only way they can do that is by getting involved in a church and with other people who can help teach them and guide them. And with your love and with your mercy and with your grace, they can be those seeds that have those deep roots that don't get blown here and there at other people's whims or at their own desires. God, I just pray for everyone listening today that if there's people listening to this, this video who are already your children, who have already asked Jesus to come and live in their heart, I ask that you renew their faith, that you renew their strength in you, that you just set their hearts on fire to fall madly in love with you and be so excited to tell other people about you and the incredible gift of your son. Thank you, God, for all the blessings that you give us and for your amazing words that you share with us. I love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.